Hey guys, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. Once again, starting a new study here on Monday. And uh, last week we talked about the five qualities of a good soldier. This week I want to talk to you about five strategies for victory. Because if you're going to be a soldier, you ought to win, right? You have an, ought to have an attitude of winning too. The Bible says, thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph through Christ Jesus. So if you're going to be a soldier for Christ, you're already a winner. Amen. Well, our text comes from Judges chapter 3, verse 12 through 30. I'm not going to read that whole thing because it would take the full five minutes. So you can read it on your own. So I'll just break out the certain verses for you as we go. Um, but because of the sins of Israel, they were under the rule of uh, ungodly nations that were all around them. And we find it in chapter 3, verse 12, and it says, The children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, so the Lord strengthened Eglon, king of Moab, against Israel because they had done evil in the sight of the Lord. Well, I don't know about you, but I never want to get God on somebody else's side. <laughs> Amen. So let's make sure that uh, we don't do evil in the sight of the Lord. Um, so Israel was defeated by foreign nations such as the Moabites, uh, the Amorites, and the Amalekites. And um, they were under bondage for 18 years, almost half a generation. If you look at verse 14, it says the children, children of Is Israel served Eglon, king of Moab, 18 years. You know, life is too short to just give 18 years of your life away to somebody who uh, is evil in the sight of God. So, um, again, once again, me as a child of God, I want to serve God. I want to please God. I want him to always be on my side. In the midst of the bondage, God raised up a judge. His name was uh, he Ehud, or Ehud, I'm sorry, Ehud, as the deliverer who will set Israel free from their bondage. Now again, that's the background of these scriptures. You should go read them, but I kind of gave you an overall. So as we look at uh, Ehud, what we want to do now is we want to break down what he did in order to walk in victory. So here's the first one for today. Ask God for help. Now that seems like something crazy for me to tell you, but so many people do this. They get a bad uh, report from the doctor, and they don't ask God. They listen to the doctor. Well, you need to have surgery. You need to take this pill. You need to do this. You need to do that. And boy, they just by faith receive what that doctor says. Now remember, that you may not know whether your doctor graduated from the top of his class or the bottom of his class. You don't know really much about him other than the, that he's got a, uh, you know, a, a certificate on his wall that says that he graduated from medical school, but do you really know how good he is? So why can you have faith in a man and not faith in God? So the first thing we ought to do is run to God, put God first. So Here's what it says, chapter 3, verse 15. But when the children of Israel cried out to the Lord, the Lord raised up a deliverer for them. Ehud, the son of uh, Jerah, the Benjamite, a left-handed man. By him the children of Israel sent tribute to Eglon, king of Moab. So again, you see, here, here we have it, um, that the people needed to cry out to God, and then God answered them in their distress. Um, probably the reason some people don't walk in victory is because they don't even realize that they can call on God. The Bible tells us in 1 John that he hears our prayers and he answers them. And so if we know that he hears our prayers, if we know it, they, he answers them, then why don't we go to him? Right? He's the great physician. He's Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He's Jehovah Nisi, our, our uh, victory. Amen. Jehovah Nisi, our victory and our banner. Uh, prayer is probably the most important thing that you and I can have. God has given us this gift of prayer and says, Come boldly before my throne in time of need to obtain mercy and grace. So why wouldn't we do that? When you get in trouble, the first thing, the first strategy that you can have for victory is to pray. Go to God. Trust God. Have faith in God and let him be the God of your life. Amen. Well, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. I love you. Jesus loves you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.